Hey guys, I'm Parker Ferrison with Ferrison Lawn Care. Thanks for checking out part one of our two-part series on lawn disease. Let's do this. Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna go over what lawn disease is, how you may have gotten it, and the strategies to help prevent or reduce your chance of getting it in the first place. So let's do this. Lawn disease is one of those things where you can try to do everything right. Water, mow, cultural practices are spot on and sometimes you're just gonna get lawn disease no matter what you do. Each year we get questions and concerns from customers regarding mysterious brown spots that appear in their lawn all throughout the season. And it can be as simple as their dog peeing in it and you have dog spots, but it could actually be disease in the lawn. So lawn disease is an actively growing fungus that's living on the grass blades. Lawn disease or fungus boils down to excess moisture or water on the grass blades or the lawn for an extended period of time. When you have too much moisture on the lawn and it doesn't have an opportunity to dry out, then you are prone to having lawn disease. So we get spoiled in the springtime with all the rainfall that we get, the temperatures are cool, there's little to no stress that's going on with the lawn. And you'll be mowing your lawn springtime, dominating the neighbors, and all of a sudden you're mowing for the third time, and all of a sudden you look down and you see some brown spots in your lawn, and you think either you've done something wrong, or your company or us has done something wrong with the lawn, and you probably have one of the first lawn diseases to appear in the year, and that's red thread. Hey, before we keep going, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with any videos that we put out. Go ahead and hit that like button to help support us and hit that bell so you can follow along with any videos that we put out in real time. So you'll start to see red thread anywhere between the 50s and the 70s. When you see red thread in your lawn, it'll appear as very small circle, anywhere from four inches all the way up to 10 inches, although I see it no bigger than a, maybe six inches around. That's usually what I see when I'm, when I'm walking the lawns. How you can ID red thread from other diseases or issues that may appear in the lawn, if you bend down and grab some of those grass blades, you'll actually see these red hairs or fibers that are growing on the grass blade and that's the sclerotia that grows on the grass blade and that's how it gets its name it's got these red hairs that grow on it and they can be pink or salmon to red anything in that shade is usually red thread disease so red thread is the first lawn disease that you'll see in your lawn that year and it's a very common topical disease in other words it lives where the actual disease takes place on the plant is on the top so you mow that first two or three mowings and it's on the surface it's a very superficial lawn disease the bad news about red thread is yes it is a disease that happens in the lawn and it is unsightly it's not an actual hindrance on the health of the plant so as a customer, what I suggest is to just continue mowing and continue your cultural practices, making sure your mower blades are sharp. Um, frequent mowing is always recommended. That should grow itself out very soon. That's the good thing. So yes, it's unsightly, but there's really no need to do anything about that. Kind of wait it out, mow it out, and you'll be as good as new. So if you've watched this video about springtime lawn disease, Go ahead and check out this video right here so you can see what the most common summer lawn disease is in your area.